incredible passion and respect for mule deer and hunting those animals in the wide open country out west. I absolutely love it. So now, well, I'm in the middle of my season and I've decided to call this the year of the mule deer. The reason is simple. I had so many mule deer hunts lined up and it was a true challenge. It was getting away from what I grew up with. That white tail hunting, that Midwestern feel, and going out west and trying something totally new. But so far, it had been incredible. In fact, last episode, we left off surrounded by mule deer. It was absolutely incredible, but unfortunately, I went home empty handed. The good news is, well, I'm back. And this time, I brought my Winchester, and I've got a good feeling that things are just about to turn around. <laughs> I told Scott that he has to do is just get us on a big mule deer and take my little camera and film everything I do so that way you can see exactly what it's like in the field. Now this was going to be no easy task because it was going to be all spot and stock hunting and when you're spot and stock hunting after mule deer it can get tough. You need to be able to make moves and I had a big tripod, a gun, a camera but I was determined to make it work and I knew if there was any place we could do it right here in Nebraska at Deer Meadows was going to be the place. So Scott, tell me what's happened this morning so far. Well, we got out here this morning and saw a couple bucks right away. A couple nice ones uh, bumping some does. Well, this year we had pork chop along and I was trying to sell film. So this was not gonna be an easy task. So we were gonna make sure that we've got the exact perfect situation before we go out there and we spotted a nice buck. And I knew this buck was awesome. Now the trouble is, we had to get on them and try to make this stuck. So I'm grabbing gear and I've got cameras and tripods and guns and trying to get all this set up. Scott's got the small camera and we head out in the hills right after this big buck. Melissa's running a camera and a rifle. I'm, I'm running a camera and, and you know the tripods and guiding and the whole nine yards. So it's not like it's a job. You know, you're out there enjoying the outdoors. It's fun. As we were getting set up, we're looking for this buck and, and Scott's glassing and all of a sudden, there's the buck, nice and close. And this buck is not far at all, so I'm getting the camera ready and all I wanted Scott to do is try to film with the little camera and he got a little bit of footage with me where you could see that buck and I'm just getting this beautiful footage and I was getting so wrapped up in it, it's like, he's like, you gotta shoot the deer, he's gonna charge us. And I thought, there's no way this deer is gonna charge us, but he was definitely curious and I'm pretty confident that I milked that out as long as I could. I love filming as much as I love hunting and I'm getting beautiful footage so finally I just picked up my gun. <music> Made a great shot, this buck went over the edge and you know what, it really was quite a feeling of accomplishment to know that you could go, we put all this together, we really worked hard, we worked as a team, and we got it done. And Deer Meadows Outfitters, it's definitely one of my favorite places to go after big, big mule deer. Wow! Look at this. Okay, you can be done, cameraman. <laughs> this is so cool. What an awesome buck, huh? That is awesome. Beautiful. Sportsman's Alliance, our heritage, our fight protecting hunting from coast to coast. The Humane Society of the United States loves to use every avenue they can to stop hunting. First, they try to pass legislation, then they sue in the courts, and finally they spend millions on ballot campaigns that end hunting. And right now, they want to stop mountain lion hunting in the five best states using these very methods. But just as they have for the last 40 years, the Sportsman's Alliance is there to stop them and is telling the world about their game plan. 
just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. It was an amazing experience to try to film and hunt at the same time and luckily it all paid off with a beautiful buck. Well now it was time to start heading southwest to Colorado and the best part is this time I was bringing my grandma along to experience the year of the mule deer for herself. The best part is I was going to be right by her side and we were going back to see my good friend Joey Managati at Story Creek Outfitters. This, this was an extra special trip. This was not your ordinary Colorado mule deer hunt. Oh no, this one was way better. And the reason why, I was bringing my grandma along for a spot and stock mule deer hunt out at Story Creek Outfitters near Walsenburg, Colorado. And boy, we were in for an awesome time. It's very pristine, it's very private. Uh, and it's, it's great for a while. I think everybody should be out here and slow down a little bit and learn what life is really like because uh, everybody should be able to uh, do it once or twice in their life anyway. As we were putting on different stocks, well, we decided to go back up to the top and reset. Now, Joey, my cameraman and I, we were all looking one way and all of a sudden grandma's like, hey guys, uh, we got some bucks right over here and there were the big bucks that we had been after before. In fact, this is a buck that I had history with. We call him the big white tail buck because he had a mule deer body, but it looked like a perfect white tail rack. They weren't worrying about anything, so our guide got us around and down close to about 150, 160 yards. Slowly but surely we got within that range and then uh, of course we had some more cows in our way. We had to jockey around them and get them out of there. Uh, like our job wasn't hard enough already. It takes a lot of patience. You can't, you're not just going to run out there and shoot something and come back. It takes time and we've seen the particular one the day before and we missed him then but kind of followed back and went back. We thought he might be around and he was still. I had been after him years before when he was in velvet but never did get a good enough opportunity. But this time, we went down there, got set up. Grandma didn't have a clear shot, so we waited. And then these bucks started going up this little dike ridge, and you know, I just lined her out and told her there was a third one from the top, and the rest was up to her. Finally had a good shot, and let it go. Oh, you Ooh, good job, Grandma. <laughs> good job. Really? You got him. <laughs> Hit him pretty good, so then he went up and over the top of the ravine and then coming down. We had to drive all the way around to the other side to see if we could find him, and he was laying under a big, big tree. Good job, Grandma. Yep, down he goes. She did a heck of a job. Made a good shot, and uh, I knew the buck was hurt when she shot him, and he wasn't going far. Look at this. Wow, pick that up, Grandma. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd shoot a mule deer this big? No, never. <laughs> she had just got an awesome deer, and no question, I was way more excited. I was shaking, I was filming with the little camera, I was having so much fun. Grandma, cool as a cucumber. This really wasn't on my bucket list, but it is now, and I'm very happy I did it. Sure, my grandma, she ended up getting one of the biggest bucks, way better than anything I could have ever imagined. But it's those memories we had together, joking around with Joey, getting setting up, and then seeing all that hard work pay off. What an awesome experience. If this isn't a testament to anyone can do it, I don't know what is. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious.
Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. In my mind, there isn't anything better than experiencing those moments out in the field with people you love. When I got to see my grandma harvest that incredible mule deer, it made all the hard work all the planning of the whole season come full circle. So with that done, there was only one goal left for me to complete, and that was gonna be taking me south of the border down to Sonora, Mexico. One of my favorite things about traveling and going to different places hunting is getting to see new locations, new people, and on this trip, we were headed to Mexico. Now this is gonna be my very first time hunting Mexico, and we were gonna be after big mule deer. I was incredibly excited the place we were going. I've heard only amazing things, and I couldn't wait to get there. first morning out, it was absolutely beautiful. The scenery, it's like something you've never seen before. It sort of reminded me of Africa, but as the sun came up over the desert, I thought, you know what, if we don't see a single mule deer, fine by me, because this is gorgeous. It was just a wonderful place, and as the clouds started clearing, we could see for miles. Now that was actually gonna be one of the issues, because you can see for so far, doesn't mean you can necessarily spot mule deer. It is so thick and it can be extremely hard to find them regardless of how far you can see. We've been getting up to the highest point we can find so we can glass. It's absolutely beautiful here. The weather, you can't beat it. It's been nice. It's almost 90 right now but it's really good. The mule deer have been up and moving. Coming out here, we actually saw a few does. I think there were nine total, so it's nice to see the animals moving. This morning, we didn't have much luck, but it's the first morning getting to see everything. It's working out great. But what I like about this is we have a lot of terrain where if we do see one, we can make a good stock and get in nice and close. camp we were actually here a little bit before the rut so we were going to be coming right before Christmas and a lot of these mule deer well they don't start rutting until January so Abram had said you know what it's gonna be tough hunting it's thick country the bucks are not rutting yet but you put in your time you should have some luck and I was confident that we were gonna work hard and hopefully get one of these big muleys as we were stalking, we actually spotted a couple smaller bucks and they look pretty good, but both Jorge and I decided not. They're just a little bit too young. I got on them and it was pretty exciting, but I thought, nah, just, just too young. But the good news is our stocks worked. What our plan was, it all paid off. Now we just needed a bigger deal. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com. Download the free ScoutLook hunting app for your smartphone. Range Master Trailers, luxury gone rugged. Master Hand Milling, revolutionizing the range. 
Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. S4 gear. Binodoc, what a cup holder should be. SCI, first for hunters. EOTech, transform your arsenal. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by SCI, protecting hunters' rights and promoting wildlife conservation. SCI is first for hunters, but first can't stay first without you. Join like your way of life depends on it. Sonora, Mexico, hunting with El Chaparral Ranch, and it is beautiful. Now the hunting, it's been difficult, there's no question. We've got extremely thick brush. The animals, you see them for a second and then they're gone. But this morning we climbed up to the top and it has been the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. The fog rolled in and now it's leaving, we can finally see again. And our plan is to get up high and try to glass and spot these animals so we can make a stock. You can also ride around in a high rack, but it's just so fast to shots that it's just not conducive to what we're trying to do. So it is beautiful out here. The weather is perfect. We've got some big mealies. We just got to find them. So we're going to put in our time in the mornings and evenings, getting to the highest points we can, glassing. Hopefully we can spot one and make a stock. A lot of the camps I go to, well, I look at the hunting, not the accommodations. A lot of times it's extremely rustic or it's in a tent, not here in Sonora, Mexico. On this hunt, I'm hunting with El Chaparral Ranch, and Abram's got a beautiful place here. The views are absolutely spectacular. Wonderful chefs, just a, an amazing place with a wonderful staff, and it really does make a difference. But what we came for, well, we came for those big Sonora mule deer. It is tough, it is thick, but I was convinced we were gonna put in our time and make it work. Now the good news is we were seeing a lot of does, but the does were still all together and the bucks seemed to be together as well. That's what happens pre-rut. They're not chasing. They really have no reason to get up and move. And the weather had been hot. But the good thing is, well, the weather was going to start getting colder and colder. And I thought, good, hopefully these deer will start moving a little bit more during the day and we should be in luck. We decided to get out again, started putting on the miles, and all of a sudden, we saw a shooter buck. Now it was for a split second and in no time we had the sticks down, I was on them. Luckily we got right on them with the camera and as soon as my cameraman said, I'm on them, I squeezed the trigger and this buck, he <laughs> went down and it was so awesome. <laughs> It's one of those things when you put in a lot of work to make something happen, you really appreciate it. Nice. <laughs> and this had been a team effort between the guides, myself, my cameraman, everybody here. We had all been working, all been scouting, and it all paid off. <laughs> que bonita! <laughs> what a beautiful old buck. Nice chocolate rack. We've been hunting out here and it is tough. It is so thick. In fact, when we were stalking along, I couldn't even see its entire body. Just saw enough, but what a beautiful buck. What a year. It seems like just yesterday, this entire plan was coming together. And now, I ended it with a beautiful Sonora, Mexico mule deer. What an absolute beauty. Now I'm not gonna lie, 
it's gonna be a little bit hard to not make every year the year of the mule deer because I had so much fun along the way. <music>